Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today we're looking at DuPont Water Solutions. How can we separate barium from your water? First of all, what is it? It is the 14th most common element in Earth's crust and generally is found there as sulfate or carbonate complexes. And we know from taking a look at barium that actually it is naturally occurring and some of it can be helpful. But it has very little commercial importance outside of its common role as a filler in paints and rubber formations. That being said, it can get into water and cause issues. So barium can remove from groundwater using resins such as amber light, strong, kitchen exchange resin, amber light or weak acid, caution, exchange resin. And regeneration it often requires HCL or very high doses of NaCl, both of which must be disposed in accordance with all local, state, and provincial federal regulations. Also, filtration can be used to remove barium from the water, and sulfuric acid can be used to precipitate the element for the BASO4, and it can be coagulated and filtered out of the water, and modules can facilitate low levels of barium containing particles in the final drinking water. And these ion exchanges and ultrafiltration products may be subject to drinking water application and restrictions in different countries, so you just have to see how they work. But barium is quite ubiquitous, and it is something to take a look at. Now, the issue is it can get into the water, and it can cause issues. It can cause contamination problems. So you want to either use some type of resins to remove it from groundwater, as suggested here amber light strong acid or some type of resin some type of regeneration now realize that those take high doses so if you don't want to remove it with acid you can definitely opt to use something such as filtration filtration can remove the barium from the water and it can be coagulated and filtered out of the water as well and facilitate low levels of barium containing particles in the final drinking water so it's not necessarily going to remove everything but it will be a good start to removing a lot of barium contamination that being said how do you actually know if there's a high amount of barium in your water you can't taste it you can't necessarily smell it or see it that you'd have to actually go ahead and test it that's why it's always a good idea to periodically test your water for high levels of barium. 